Help a political party can offer anything to you or demonstrate that they, got, they have some concern about the interests which you express, then you don't support them. And if I find myself in that category, then it's time for me to go too. I have actually shared the experiences. Most of you in this area are my personal friends. Wilfred already explained to you the problems that we have here with the well. Right? That is minor in comparison to some of the things I'm talking to you about. We have problems all through this community. Every effort sometimes to uplift the scientists spoke about small business, but every effort sometimes to uplift the community, even the area of setting up small businesses, then you get a hustle from somebody in the DLP government. On the last occasion when I tried to construct something on the block there, the problem was why am I encouraging those wild boys and things to have these things set up across St. Michael's. So I had the problem in Hagen Hall. I had the problem in the Ivy Housing area because there's, there's very, I, I built those, those are little, little, little shops, those little units, kiosks, huh? through Project Oasis. I work in collaboration. Mar you market, you work with me. I immediately after the 2008 election, they sent an agent who now works at NFC to go and identify all of these things. I had to then fight them off from demolishing all the little business units that I set up across the community. I, am, I want to say that I'm thankful to you all because after my 2008 defeat, I came back. And if you respond to the brother, I am not going to disappoint you. I am not going to disappoint you. Because last year, I was off the streets for a little while. I had a very serious challenge. I went in the hospital. And when everybody felt that I was moving like the ghost who walked, and felt that I was not going to return, I bounced back. Thank you, Lord, buddy. All right. I ask you all, stay with me. It is not a quiet revolution for me. But stay with me through this revolution. Stay with the Barbados Labour Party. Give us the support. You can actually make a judgment of all the individuals here. I tell you, I would not be standing with them. And I certainly would not be standing with her. Because she has a broad back. She's a strong woman. She's a strong woman. She's a serious woman. She has no reservations about anybody in any social group. She can talk to anybody. I tell you, she has an endurance that I don't have. Because people say things about her and do things to her, including the former Prime Minister, and she does not move on. I can't promise nobody. I can't promise nobody in the world. I can't promise it to God or man that I would ever be able to demonstrate these special characteristics. My intention is to stand by her. I will stand by her and stand by the party. I ask you to come along with all of us. This time, many of us were gathering in Bridgestone. And those who were cynical among us asked, what next? Those who were given instructions from people who want to defend the status quo said, what next? Well, let me tell you what happened. The first time we marched in 2014, a solid waste tax was abandoned. The second time we marched in 2016, Cahill and the 10% that they were planning to take back that week get put on hold for how long? A year. And Cahill get abandoned. And last Saturday when we marched, we didn't choose the date by accident. There were those who wanted us to change the date. And we said no. We wanted to go to Parliament with a message from the people of Barbados to the government of Barbados because they were about to deal with the estimates, the country's budget. And we went with that message after thousands of you came out last Saturday. And what did it achieve? That for the first time, 
since 2013. In fact, for the first time since this government has been in, Prime Minister Frundel Stewart has admitted that this country is now at a critical juncture of crisis in Barbados. And I say to you today that if you did not come on the streets, believe you me, and if you did not force them to confront the reality of all of the people standing up who stood up last Saturday, this government would have come to Parliament last week and ignored your reality yet again. But they could not ignore the thousands of people in Bridgetown last week. And both he and the Minister of Finance have now come to Christian understanding and are finally confronting the hardship and the hard reality of Barbados. That is what standing up did. That is what stepping up did. And I say to you that I am conscious that men like Martin Luther King and others didn't have one march and what next? Hmm. Trevor, they marched year after year after year, city after city after city. They took action until what they sought to achieve was achieved. And we will not be hobbled. We will not be put into a box. We will not be made silent until the people of this country get their fear deserve, which is to have the right to have a say about their future. We will not. Because as we speak, we have a government that continues to ignore the plight. And I want to thank Sam here for drawing attention to the fact that how can you vote $10 million and don't make provision for the people who have not worked for three, four, five, six years across the urban corridor and across this country? I want to thank Wilfred and Trevor for highlighting the fact that this government continues to sit on concessional funding that can make a difference to more than 2,000 people living out here in relation to the kinds of conditions. So we will do whatever it takes within the laws of this country to let our voices be heard, to let our presence be felt, and to be seen if it means that the people of Barbados will have a right to a voice a right to a say and a right to have a better life because what is going on and what is going down in this country is leaving too many Bajans out of the loop and we are not going to put up with it regardless of who says what and no, what no. is said by anybody else. So what next? What next? What next? We are going to be stepping up till the X. What next? We are going to be stepping up till the X. What next? We